Using your personal Hotmail or Yahoo email address for business is really not professional, and that's why you should set up a business email address. Let's check out some of the best free and premium options to do just that. First up, free business email services. Number one, Zoho Mail. Like most of their other products, you can set up and use their mail service with your own domain entirely for free. Free accounts get up to five users, five gigabytes per user, 25 megabyte attachment limit, web access only, and email hosting for a single domain. If you need a business email for free, you can't go wrong with Zoho. Number two, cPanel. Okay, so this one's not technically free, but rather it's included with a web hosting package that you probably already pay for. If you have a website, and we're guessing that you do, there's a high chance that it's hosted through a service that gives you access to what's called a cPanel. This usually means you can set up email addresses with your existing domain. You can often customize the inbox size and whether it forwards to an existing account, and you could use your own client. We'll walk you through how to do all of that at the end of this video if you're interested. Number three, mail.com. Rather than using your own custom domain, you can choose from one of their dozens of extensions that may relate to a particular field. So for instance, you could have at graphic-designer.com or at programmer.net. While these are no replacement for a personalized domain, it's a good first step for someone looking for a completely free option. With that said, now let's check out some of the premium business email services. Number one, G Suite. Not only do you get branded domain email addresses, but you also get a massive amount of storage. You can set up groups and aliases for free, and you get access to the entire lineup of Google services. And because it's Google, you know it's reliable and simple to set up with your own domain. Plus, Gmail has arguably one of the best interfaces out there. Prices start at $6 per user per month. Number two, Rackspace. They specialize in either Microsoft Office 365, Exchange, and their own small business email hosting. In our experience with Rackspace over the years, they have provided solid and reliable email with incredibly low downtime and good support. Setting up your service is pretty easy, especially if you use their migration tool. Prices start at $2.99 per user per month. And finally, number three, Outlook 365 for business. Microsoft has come a long way over the years and you'll definitely wanna check them out. Using Outlook 365 gets you and your team access to a whole suite of services like Teams, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint online. Basically, it's the Microsoft version of G Suite and prices start at $5 per user per month. Before we end this video, we're gonna show you how to set up an email address using cPanel. So let's get to it. All right, so I am currently logged into my Bluehost account, and this is what my cPanel looks like. For you, it may look completely different, and that's totally okay. At its core, cPanel will be the same even if the wording or graphics are different. The section we're looking for is called email, and we're going to go to the main option, which in this case is called email manager. Now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and click create an email account. All right, now for the easy part, we're just gonna go ahead and enter the name for our email address, then select the domain name. So this will be hello at website.com. Now just enter a password. We can just ignore default webmail client and move on to mailbox storage. This is completely up to you. If you would like, you can set a predetermined number, or if you're like me, you can just click unlimited mailbox size, and now we can click create. And there's my email address, hello at website.com. I just selected email configuration here on the left-hand side and selected this email account, and now it's providing me with all of the information I need to set up my email on a different client. So this has my username, the incoming and outgoing mail server, as well as the ports that I would be using. And if I would like, it has all of the SSL versions. This email works with IMAP and POP3, so I could just simply choose to my liking. When the client asks for your password, it's the exact password you used for this email address when you created it. And it's as simple as that. You now have all of the information you need to create your own email account through cPanel. And there you go. We hope we were able to help you set up a business email address. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.